This morning's opening ceremony will be presented by Ed Edmo. Ed will be reading a poem he authored entitled Indian Education Blues. Ed is a poet, playwright, and traditional storyteller. He is a member of the Shoshone Bannock tribe. He lives in Gresham, and he is a guest of Representative Anna Williams. Welcome. Thank you, House of Representatives. I vote. <laughs> Indian Education Blues. This is published in 1983 in Hamilton, New Zealand, in a collection called A Nation Within. In 1997, it was featured on Trimit Poetry in Motion on the Maxes and Buses. If you want to see it, go to Oregon State University. Valley Library, to the right of the main door of the library, there's a long little bench, and there's poems in granite. You know what I like about that? That it didn't have to die. Because <laughs> most poets have poetry in granite are all dead white guys, not Indians or women. <clears throat> Indian education blues. I sit in crowded classrooms and learn how to read about Dick Jane and Spot, but I remember how to get a deer. I remember how to beadwork. I remember how to fish. I remember the stories told by the old, but Spot keeps showing up, and my report card is bad. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a good day. Thank you, Ed. Courtesies, Representative Williams. I would like to extend courtesies to Ed Edmo. Ed is a published short story writer, poet, performer, traditional storyteller, and lecturer on Northwest tribal culture. He also serves as a consultant to the Smithsonian Museum of the American Indian. His hometown is Celilo Village in the Gorge, but he currently lives in Portland with his family. Ed is a tour guide for the She Who Watches Petroglyph and the Columbia Gorge, which you should all see if you haven't, and through the Warm Springs Indian Reservation in Central Oregon. In addition to these tours, he provides lectures on issues that affect many people in our state and across the nation, such as cultural understanding and awareness, mental health, and drug and alcohol abuse. Please join me in welcoming Ed Edmo to the Capitol today. Thank you, Ed. So good to have you here. Further courtesies, Representative Gorsuch. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I, too, have known uh, Ed for many years. Ed is gracious enough to come out and help us every year, probably maybe eight years now. Um, we have a salmon festival that the uh, Mount Hood Geography Department does. And uh, that's, by the way, if you want to come and see Ed, because he's there every time. Uh, and he does a presentation about Native American culture and history and tells stories. Um, it's the first Sunday in November every year at the Multnomah Falls Lodge. But thank you, Ed, for uh, your wonderful poem this morning, and thank you for all that you do in, the, in our state and around the country. Thank you, Representative.